morning consult poll shows support for stricter gun laws has increased since the mass shooting in Las Vegas. Here to discuss the poll and gun regulation, GOP consultant Edward Getterman and Ed Espinosa from Progress Texas. Ed Getterman, the recent poll shows 64% of voters support stricter gun laws. Do you really think the majority of Americans want stronger gun control or is this a reaction to the Vegas shooting? These polls show the same thing every time we have a shooting. For, for a month or two after the shooting, the sh polls generally show increased support for gun control and then it, it tapers off a, as the weeks go on. The other problem with the polls is they're always too general. They'll, they'll ask the question, do you support strong, stricter gun control? And people say, you know, yes or no. That's not the question that needs to be asked. It needs to be drilled down into more specifics about do you support particular uh, new regulations, and, and those polls never get at that. So it's hard to really divine, you know, what people are thinking. Ed Espinoza, what do you think? Did, did these latest poll numbers accurately portray voter belief? Uh, yeah, I think they do. And uh, Edward's right in that the poll ch maybe changes one to every two months there, there's a new poll that comes out but one to every two months there's another mass shooting that's been the record for years in america and people are frustrated nothing happens no gun law changes no regulations go in place nothing is done to address the problem and because of that people are frustrated and that's why i think the, the polls may change on what they specifically want to be done but the one theme that is true through all of them is that people just want something anything done to stop the violence well talking about that ed getter and gop leaders they've been reluctant to pass gun control legislations republicans are in control uh, do you see any new regulations or laws making it through the congress well, I would say two things. First of all, uh, Diane Feinstein herself went on Face the Nation this weekend and said there is no a, a more pro-gun uh, restriction uh, member of Congress you will find. There aren't any. And she herself went on TV and said this past weekend that there are no, she could think of no laws if they had been in place that would have stopped the shooting. So, you know, it's one thing to say we want stricter gun control. The problem is when you, when you say to somebody, okay, well, what does that mean? It, it, none of them can really ever say anything. It's all, you know, people will say things like, well, you have to ban high capacity magazines or this or that but and then you say well but that wouldn't have, have stopped this and it all, always comes into well but it would be a good thing to do and I'll tell you in the history of our country when we've gotten into trouble it's been when members of Congress decide to do things just because they feel good that generally does not work out well so uh, to answer your second question uh, all that to say there are a whole lot of members of the Republican caucus, especially in the House, so who knows what they'll do, but, um, you know, we'll see. I would imagine they'll probably do something on the bump fire stocks, but we'll see. Okay. Ed Espinoza, you know, two questions. Um, if the Congress could pass gun control legislation, what sort of restrictions would you like to see? Secondly, what can the Democrats do to get something passed? Well, I answer in reverse order, uh, but I, I think the Democrats have done everything they could try to do to date to get something done. And the thing is, is that unless Republicans budge, there isn't a whole lot Democrats can do. The way you can change it is elect more Democrats to Congress. But if Republicans wouldn't budge on high capacity magazines after Virginia Tech, if they wouldn't budge on background checks after Sandy Hook, if they wouldn't budge on stopping people who are on the terror watch list from obtaining guns after the Orlando shooting, then they're not going to budge on anything else. But what could be done? Maybe any of those things could be done. Maybe. Uh, we can, if, if people are stockpiling weapons the same way we, that people stockpile Sudafed, we would have some clue if somebody was uh, trying to do something malicious. There are things that we can do. More, more importantly, there are things that we can try. But Republicans in Congress are spineless and beholden to the NRA, and until that changes, nothing will change, and we will have another mass shooting. Okay, well, the debate goes on. Edward Getterman, Ed Espinosa, thank you both very much. Thanks. Thanks.